Welcome back to Let's Play Fear. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're looking for Harlan Wade's office. Well, we're also looking for his daughter, Alice Wade, but, you know, let's not hold out undue amounts of hope. Oh, hey guys! You want to something weird? I'm almost relieved to see these guys, because it probably means the scary bullshit is over. Well, for now, I mean. There, sorry. Just needed to scratch my nose. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. Huh. I think the big problem I have is that, you know, with all those psychic powers and genetic experiments and stuff, I just can't work out. Oh, Christ. Fuck me. That was stupid. I should never have let him get that far. Yes, the thing I can't work out is how the stupid ghost plays into it. Are they extracting supernatural powers from her somehow? Is that why she's in the vault? Oops. Oh. Wait, no. Man, they can get in there, but I can't. Great! of a game I played a very, very, very long time ago. I don't even remember what it was called now. It had the... Oh. It had the dumbest means I'd ever seen of, incre of uh, increasing the difficulty in the later levels. Um, in some of the later levels, it was like a semi-open world game, like, it, it had a series of predefined levels that they were pretty big and you could take different routes through them. Yeah, this is before the era of games like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, where they had this giant open world. But anyway, um... Let's shove this chair in. The game had, uh, a thing where the later levels did have, you know, the... 
design just custom laid out levels where there would be uh you know little groups of dudes here and there and you had to uh approach and take them down but in addition to that it would uh every few minutes it would spawn one guy like off on the periphery of the map who already knew where you were you know he was actively uh engaged to you and he would just track you down no matter where you were. And it was stupid because it's one guy. It's not a threat. You know, it's not like he was like this giant demon or anything. It's a, it was a, you know, it was a contemporary game. So it was like a guy with a gun. You take him down immediately. And they just kept doing this every few minutes, one guy at a time. You have one new message. First what the fuck message is that game called? Alice Wade. Ooh. The, uh... I remember hearing tales that tell me that's not the only game that did that, too. Not back then. Oh, well. Um... So, bad shit went down in Auburn. It's very clear. Whatever happened to Project Origin was so terrible that it infected the entire town with something that even ordinary people could, you know, pick up on. Making them want to get the hell out. So much cooler. Oh, look. I guess they are optical mice. Alright, lower laptop. But it's right in the middle of the room and it feels like a trap. Fucking physics! Alright, alright, alright. Um. See again. Listen to this. Marshal Distler, Will Mooney, and Elvis Bishop are all working on some kind of task force together. The other members are Ian Hines, Alice Wade, Norton Mapes, and Charles Habaker. And Harlan Wade is the one pulling the strings. I guess that means Bettle's working his way up the food chain. So fucking Mapes is actually part of this conspiracy. I knew I should have shot that fat fuck. You know, I liked his RTFM uh, belt buckle when I met him, but now I just suspect that it's uh, part of his superiority complex. I bet he's completely insufferable to work with. Christ! 
right, I'll take that. Everything's just fine, sir. Come take a look. I wonder what exactly it means that I have one armor. Do I have like a tiny scrap of vest left on? Getting my shall we? Let me just take a look around. I only see the two guys. I shot its face off. I do like the way all the dust gets kicked up. Sorry. <sighs> Had to sneeze. Twice, in fact. The last time I did this, there were still a bunch of guys left. In the area, I mean. I see them. Ah, oh, fuck, it's only big guys. You're a piece of shit! Oh. Okay, this time we're looking upstairs before we go out there in order to see if we can find ourselves a mega bazooka or something. What about in here? Oh, this is where you get to the stairs, right. How the hell? Oh, is this a Delta Force guy? Yeah, that sucks.
I don't know how I feel about Delta Force being made into the red shirts of the game. I guess I'm not that real big in the military anyway. But it would probably piss me off if I uh, ever knew anybody in the Delta Force, for example. Maybe if uh, I had some kind of connection to... Uh, what is... What do we call them? Uh, the Canadian team. Joint Task Force 2. Hey, look at that. You be dead. Yeah, today is the first time I actually noticed that you can hear the, uh, the shell casings hitting the ground. Well, I'm getting my supply of, uh, Health kit's back. That's good. Come on. I don't call that quick saving. I mean, it's convenient saving and that it's a single button press, but, uh... It's not terribly quick. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Yes! I had a meaning to try that out. The, uh... Health kits give you, uh... The health kits immediately refill your health to full when you, uh, get one. But, uh... I had forgotten to try so far whether to, uh... Whether or not the reflex boosters <laughs> fill up your, uh... Your slow-mo meter when you get one. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've actually found one of those upgrades in a combat situation. I'm supposed to just tucked away in a corner somewhere. Alright, I guess one of the things I heard about this game at the time was a bit of an exaggeration. It looks like these guys don't really, you know, flip tables over and use them for cover but the developers have placed them in the level in order to, for the uh, enemy to use them as cover. Like, they will intelligently seek out cover, but it looks like they don't, you know, create it. <laughs> I was 
wasn't sure if it worked the first time, and it didn't. So it's a good thing I hit it again. button as I hit the uncrouch button. Here's a little behind the scenes for you folks. The reason that guy just yelled shit is that uh those suits are so expensive that uh when a guy dies wearing them, it's the uh surviving squad's uh, responsibility to uh clean out the suit. And remove the dead guy and clean out the suit. Oh, hey. A burned skeleton. That's a new one. Ah! Ah! Wrong fucking... Never mind. Close enough. Alright, that kind of sucked. A little bit pissed with that, but it is just a health kit. And I am getting back into the area where I'm, uh... You know, the, the range where I'm comfortable with my uh, amount of health. Yeah, I was just gonna make a uh, bad joke about the uh, guy in the suit just shitting himself as he died, you know, as human beings are known to do. Ah, oh, there. Okay, I made up for it. I did just find that one in the next to the health upgrade, after all. Now then. I'm burning dog face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Fear, when our search for the truth, ugh, stretch, continues. Later! <laughs>